Hi, it's Professor Monty. We're talking about rationalizing the denominator when there's two terms. The key to this is multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate. Now, the conjugate is, if I have a plus b, the conjugate, you keep the a and the b, you just change the sign in the middle. So the conjugate of a plus b is a minus b, the conjugate of a minus b is a plus b. So if I'm trying to rationalize the denominator, I multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, both top and bottom. Let's look at some examples. So I've got 6 over 3 plus the square root of 2. Remember, I can't have square roots in a denominator. That's an irrational number. They don't like to have irrational numbers in the denominator. They'll say rationalize the denominator. Get it from an irrational number of square root of 2 to a rational number. Okay, so the idea again is multiply by the conjugate. The conjugate of 3 plus square root of 2 is 3 minus square root of 2. And we know whatever we do at the bottom, we have to do at the top. That's multiplied by 1, doesn't change the value. Now, I'm going to leave the top just as it is. I'm not going to actually multiply it out yet, because sometimes I'll be able to reduce. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. But the bottom I'm going to foil up. So I get 3 times 3 is 9. 3 minus root 2 is negative 3 root 2. Then I have 3 plus 3 root 2 and then I have minus root 4. And notice what's happening here. The minus 3 root 2 and the positive 3 root 2 cancel. This square root of 4 is really a minus 2. So I really have 9 minus 2, which is 7. That's my denominator. It's a rational number. No more radicals on the bottom. Now on the top, this 7 is not going to factor and reduce with that 6, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out. If this was, say, an 8, I could reduce the 6 over 8 to a 3 over 4 and then leave this. But since I can't, I'll multiply it out. Some instructors may want you to leave it factored out that way. I like it multiplied out, so we get 18 plus 6 root 2. And that's my answer. Does it look better than it started? No, but there's no radical in the denominator. That was our goal. All right, let's try another one. Oh, before we do that, look at this. Since I'm multiplying by conjugates, remember, if I have something in the form a plus b times a minus b, that's how we factor the difference of two squares. I can actually look at this. A shortcut to foiling this up is saying, hey, it's something squared minus something squared. Well, the first one was the 3. The second one was the square root of 2. Well, 3 squared is 9. Square root of 2 squared is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. That was my denominator because the middle stuff always cancels out. So you can use that as a shortcut if you want. If not, go ahead and foil it out. Now, I'm kind of hesitant to say this because I've seen a lot of my students in the past forget to foil it out, actually multiply by it, not by the conjugate, by, but by the same sign. And then they do this minus this squared minus that squared, get the wrong answer there. So you may want to foil it out. I'll leave that up to your discretion. All right, here's another one. Again, we look at the denominator. There's two terms. Change the sign in the middle. That's the conjugate. Square root of 5 plus the square root of 3. Multiply that both top and bottom. And again, we're going to foil these out. So I get the square root of 10 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 25 plus the square root of 50. On the bottom, I'm going to foil those. Square root of 25 plus square root of 15 minus the square root of 15 minus the square root of 9. Again, the two middle terms cancel out. The bottom is 5 minus 3, which is 2. The top, that doesn't simplify, that doesn't simplify. This is a 5, so it simplifies, but that doesn't. And they're not like terms, so I can't add them together. So I just have to leave it as square root of 10 plus square root of 6 plus 5 without the square root plus square root of 15. Again, looks kind of ugly, but there's no radical in the denominator. Again, with the denominator, I could have said, oh, it's a squared minus b squared. This was the square root of 5. This was the square root of 3. So I just get 5 minus 3, which is 2, which is what my denominator was. So if you remember to change the signs, 
then you can just do that a squared minus b squared, make it a couple steps quicker, or you can just FOIL it out. All right, either way, but the key to these is multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. If I was trying to rationalize the numerator, if that was what the question was, I would do the same thing. I'd multiply top and bottom, but that time by the conjugate of the numerator. Okay, work with these. A little practice will go a long ways.